they serve the club. Uh, so without further ado, Ron, I should have you unmuted here. Just let me know when you need me to advance the slide and the floor is yours. Okay, thank you. Can you hear me now or? Okay, well, I'd like to thank Matt, first of all, for um, putting this together, but I also like to, putting me after Jack is a hard thing to follow with Jack's professional PowerPoints there. Um, as he said, I'm a KM line member, also a LCAF chair for the district, but for most of the years, I've been a line member for over 40 years in our club, and I've been a secretary for almost all of those years. Okay, the next slide, please. This next slide, Matt. There we go. Okay. I'd like to take everybody that is uh, able to meet tonight. We don't have to drive any place, but at least we'll be able to get together somewhat during this kind of virtual meeting. Um, some of you may have been new to be a sec club secretary, and or you may have been a secretary for some time in the past. I know that um, it takes some time to learn some of these things because I go back to the times when we did everything by paper and had to send them in and carbon copies and things like this. And throughout the years, it's changed a lot. Okay, next slide, please. Okay, the Lions Secretary training. Why secretaries are the lifeline of the club, really. Um, we'll be discussing many of the roles the secretary plays. You're kind of the glue of the club to fit the things together. While presidents talk about philosophies and attitudes, secretaries are the planners, the detailers, and the kind of the worker bees of the club. We kind of hold things together, I think. Um, you know, uh, we talk about secretaries as being a position that maybe is going to be a one-year position. Usually they're there for a lot longer because of the fact that sometimes it takes a little uh, longer to learn the training. And once you're comfortable, then uh, nobody else wants to take the job because you're doing a good job for it. Okay, next one, please. Um, presidents come and presidents go, but good secretary go on forever. Uh, and that's kind of true a lot of places, I think. Um, luckily, our club has had a situation where we've had a turnover of presidents almost every year. We have the president, first, second, and third vice presidents, and we have a good rotation, which is a good idea. Not so much in the secretary position. We've had that pretty constant for a long time. But the role of a secretary can be a very good role if they're doing a good job. A good secretary can make a club look good because they report what they are doing. The club may be doing a lot, but if they're not being reported, it doesn't look like anything. A poor secretary can make a club look bad because it looks like they're not doing anything. They may be doing a lot of things, but uh, it doesn't get reported. Um, as a LCF chair, I get to get the reports of what was called the um, kind of a assessment of clubs, and you see some clubs that are, man, they don't do anything at all because the secretary is not reporting it. They're active when I go to meet with them, but the secretary doesn't let them do that. Okay, next slide, please. Okay, the club secretary is a connector. They're a connection between a lot of different groups. They have their local club, but they connect with Lions Club International. They do that on a monthly basis with some of the reports. They collect, they connect with the multiple district, things that come down from the multiple. They definitely collect, uh, connect with the 5M1, and actually their zone and their club members. As many times as the um, secretary themselves that have the information between club member to club member. Uh, they keep track of what's going on with their members. They keep track of attendance for their members. They keep track of uh, membership as far as their uh, when they join, things like this. So you are the person that connects a lot of those things together. Next slide. Okay, the, you are also the recorder. This is kind of one of the main things. Um, recording attendance. Uh, we keep attendance at all board meetings or activities or regular club meetings. So one of the first things I try to do is I'm always writing down who's there. Even though we have a sign-up sheet, sometimes somebody comes a little bit late, they don't miss the sign-up sheet, I want to make sure I know who was there for their attendance. We have an attendance policy that if you attend at least one event during the month, you can qualify for your perfect attendance award. You also record membership applications. When a new member joins, you're the one that gets the application, or you're the one that has to turn it in. It used to be one of the situations where you had to send things in manually. Now, with a couple of clicks of a mouse and um, typing up some information, you can record a member very, very quickly. So that's um, part of your deal of recording is that membership application. 
but you also remember or record what goes on. You're taking the minutes at the board meeting. Our club meets a board meeting once a month, and then we have a regular club meeting also the second time of the month. So at those meetings, I'm the ones responsible for seeing who was there and what went on, keeping records of those things. And those records become very important for later on. Somebody says, well, did we vote to do this or did we vote to do that or how much did we spend on that or how much did we spend on that? And sometimes it has to go back one month or two months or several months to find out exactly what happened to the meetings. Because you are the one that are saying, yes, we did agree to spend this money or we did agree to do this project. You're kind of um, keep all the records for that. The next thing is the club activities. This is where your club is very important as far as what is your club doing? Um, how many members were there? With the new recording system, you have to give how many members were there, how many hours were there, what did you do, how many people did you serve? That's some of the things we're doing now. So recording what your club is doing is activities. Another thing is their donations. Did you donate to the LCAF? Did you donate to the Hearing Foundation? Did you donate to the Diabetes? Did you donate to any group locally? Those donations are also counted for what your club is doing. So keeping track of those things as well. And the club should not have any donations unless it's been approved by the club itself. So that's where your board minutes have to go along with your donations. Gee, did somebody spend money? Well, did we approve that or did we not approve that? That's when you go back to the board minutes. That's when you go back to the secretary's minutes. You become a very vital person for verification of what we did or did not do. Next one, please. You provide information. Uh, it used to be you had to write up all those things longhand as far as your membership lists and the addresses and the emails and things like this. Sometimes I still do those because some people want to copy those. But, but doing so many things now on the Internet, all that information is basically available when you go, you log into the um, website because that have the, all your members are listed there. And a lot of members say, well, I don't know my membership number. Well, you know that as a secretary because you can look it up on the website. You have all the phone numbers, the email addresses. And it's a big job because people change these things. They change their email. They change their address. They go from a home phone to a cell phone. And trying to keep that information up is important. Also, people say, well, how long have I been a member? When did I join? We had um, one of my members ran for district governor. He says, gee, when did I join? Who was my sponsor? How long have I been a member? He wanted to have a resume and he didn't know, but the secretary knew because you can go back to those records. You also know who the person was sponsored for. So this information also comes back as when you sponsor a member, LCIF will, I mean, LCI will send things back to you as far as rewards for sponsorships, rewards for things like this. So you have a lot of information at your fingertips that you can find out for members and for the club. Okay, next slide. Okay, you are the communication person. Um, we have a P.O. box for our club, and I have a key to that. So any information that's coming to the P.O. box, I get and report to the um, to club at our board meetings. A lot of times it's thank you notes. When we give money for the Parade of Green, we get a lot of thank you notes back from the various organizations. So I bring those to the club meeting. As Jack mentioned before, having an agenda, one of our agenda items is after the secretary's report, after the treasurer's report, is correspondence. Did we receive any correspondence? Sometimes a request for help, sometimes just a thank you note. And when you do things or you have done, people do things for you, sending out those things or correspondence or um, other things. That's kind of the secretary's report as well. Thank you for the donation somebody gave to you. You also are the person that can easily order club supplies and awards. So that, again, is um, part of the new website where you can easily go on and do those things. Again, a lot of times they have to be approved. We do a line of the year every year. We do um, uh, other things like we did a Melvin Jones this year. We had a Helen Kelly this year. I ordered all of those. So the secretary has avail availability to get those. Next slide, please. Okay, they report. They do a lot of the reporting. They report membership join, um, joins and drops. Every month, if you have a member join or you don't have a member join, you're supposed to report. There's a part on there, you can just report, well, no activity this month. Or when you have somebody join, you put that in and that becomes a record. And if somebody passes away or somebody drops your membership, you have to report that as well. It's a lot easier now, actually, once you get into using the system, the online system, it's a couple of press of a couple of buttons and you can do some of those things. Okay, the next part. They report the officers to LCI and the 5M1. 
We used to have this long computed, you know, the PU 101 form that you had to fill out and you had to write it, send it in the duplicate, duplicates and triplicates. You had to send it to the international, you had to send it to the zone, you had to send it to the regions, you had to send it to your governors. Now you can go on the website and you go off next year's officers and you just go through and you start click and click and click and you can put all your officers in with a period of time and that's already available for the multiple and for the district and LCI. Probably the most important thing now and the thing that's causing the most problem for me sometimes is reporting club activities. It's not that it's um, I don't want to do it, it's they keep changing the system. When they went to the new web system, it's um, they started with one system that was kind of difficult and I had to get some training from somebody else to do that and then they made it a little bit easier. So now it's actually pretty easy to go through those steps. Okay, the next part. Okay, the importance of reporting. Why do we have to do all this reporting? Can't I just do it once in a while? Well, LCI, and um, it gives the LCI, Lions Club International, and the district an accurate view of your club, its members and leaders. What is your club doing? How many members do they have? Is your club active? Is your club not active? Do you have any problems? To put your club on the map as a local leader. Reporting things that you did basically is something where you can go back and say, yes, we did this. We did a ditch cleanup. We made a contribution for a scholarship. We uh, provided money for this or that. It shows that you are a leader in your club. It also shows how lions are making a difference. Again, we are a lion in our own club, but we're also part of a district, a multiple, and international, and we make a difference worldwide. We want to know those things, and, and as we have these goals on an international basis, it shows that we are part of that whole project of making a difference. It also shows the club is engaged and active. When you make a report, it shows that your club is doing something. As I said before, some clubs look like they're not doing anything at all. When I attended their club to speak, they're very active, but when I went back, it had not been, not been reported. There hadn't been reports there for weeks and weeks, maybe months and months. So their club looks like they're not doing much when in fact they are. You should get credit for what you're doing. It provides that tangible evidence of lines of a global impact. When we have the fact that, you know, how many people are being reached by lions activities? How many people are we helping on a global basis? By reporting that, we are part of that total number. It also allows your clubs to be eligible for service awards. It shows that you are active in things like this. You can be awarded for some of those things. Okay, the next one, please. Okay, how to report. Again, as I said before, it used to be a lot more difficult, I think, in some ways, but you got used to it, and I'm not a person that really uh, likes a lot of change. Well, it was working the old way. Why did we have to change? I knew how to do that way. Why do you have to keep changing and sometimes I have to learn something new? It's like when I get the computer and it says updates. I don't want updates. I want to do it the way I did before. But all reporting is now on the Internet. If you don't basically, if you're not internet or computer savvy at all, you probably won't be a good secretary. You're going to have a lot of problems. Okay, to do it, first of all, as secretary, you have to go to the Lions International website, the LCI website. Then on the top of that, you'll just say click in and you have a member login. So as a secretary, you may have to get that as far as out your new member login is or open it. Um, once you've reported that you are the secretary, then you'll be able to get into that area. The next screen that pops up after that, after you've logged in, gives you five different options. Take a look at that screen. It'd be a lot easier if I could just regularly show um, opening up my activities, but I've tried to create the same thing. On the top, you'll have my LCI, my Lion, Shop, Insights, and Learn. These are all a little bit different as far as what they give you. The first one, my LCI, that's basically where you have all your club information. It also is where you go to to report um, membership. Even if there's no change, you go to that place to report no membership change, or if you add a member, or if you drop a member. All your membership information is there, all the names, all the addresses, all the numbers, all the various things you have under that area. So if you need that, that's where you go. Okay, the next one over is My Lion. This is the area you go when you report activities. It used to be all on the same site. It's no longer like that. My line is when you give money, when you have activities, when you do something, and then something can be meetings, it can be um, activities where you're a fundraiser or your service activity, you're doing something, 
organ uh, donations. Shop, it's pretty self-explanatory. It's basically where you go to um, order something for your club. The next one, basically the next two, I really haven't used much insights. Uh, when I went there, it shows graphs of trends of membership, service activities, and donations. It kind of gives you a breakdown of what your club has done over the period of time. Are you, have you had a real spike in membership or has it been level? Have you done a lot of activities or donations, things like this? And the learn part, you can spend a tremendous amount of time learning more about Lions. It has a tremendous amount of resources that you can take free online classes. But as far as the secretary, generally, the first two are the ones we use the most, my LCI and my Lion. Okay, the next one, please. Okay, at the top of the page, you have home, I'm in my Lion, I'm my LCI right now. Home, my Lions Club, my district, my multiple. And below that, you have the club name, your club number, which some people don't even know they have a club number. It gives you the district, Minnesota, United States, things like this. So this is some of the information you have at that point. Um, it will give you when you're chartered. Um, if you're not a charter member, you think, gee, I don't know when our club started. This information is provided for you right there. It will also give you your tax ID number and things like this. Um, under uh, the Alliance Club, you'll have your club officers. Um, report new officers, a place you can do that. You can check past officers. And I didn't know this until recently. There you go. Thank you. Um, you have a lot of this information available. The first part is all your members are there. Your names or addresses, the, um, the date they joined. The club information, the name of your club, the charter day, all that things like this. Your current members, and this is where you report your new members. Think, well, I wonder who our president was three years ago. You can go back to past officers. And when I went back there, it went back 18 years. I could go back to who the president was in 2005, who the president was in 2010. And sometimes thinking, well, who was that guy? And you go back and do those type of things. So it's very information. There's a lot of information here available for you to do a lot of those things. Okay, next one, please. Okay, so we go to my members. Um, reporting new members, that's the easiest thing. Again, uh, you have to know who the sponsor was. Um, you can do three different things. Report new members, report no changes in monthly membership or drop members. And um, again, reporting members is filling out the information, their name, their address, their telephone numbers, their spouse, all the various things who the sponsor was. And then you'll be able to pick out on the side there who the sponsor was and you click on that person. And then if you have to drop a member, you just go to their name and it says three different things on the side and you can drop and then you should say why they drop things like this. In this last year, we had two members that passed away and we had a couple members for various reasons that did drop memberships. We've got some new members ready to come in, but it's a little harder right now because we haven't been able to meet. So the last person who's gonna to come to the meeting, well, needless to say, we didn't have a meeting. So I think all clubs are dealing with that right now. It's gonna be hard to get new members until we can start meeting again. Okay, next one, please. Okay, this is your My Lion, and this is where we report our activities. This is the site you go for that. Okay, next, please. Okay, when you open this, you have across the top the home, the past uh, report, past activities, plan future activities, activities, and uh, metrics. Our club, or I've never actually planned future activities. Some have done that, they start putting this information. I think for most clubs, we report things after it's been accomplished or after it's been um, taken care of. So um, when you go to this, um, information you have all this information listed um, it'll give the name of the club they'll want the number of people served the number of activities oh I know what you're talking about it'll show you across there what you've done so far it's really amazing when you start putting all this information in that you find gee I don't know we've served you know 75 people or 500 people or some of that we've had you know 15 service activities or 30 service activities we've donated so much amount of money it'll list that right across there you get a kind of a snapshot of what your club has done. And it's really good sometimes to show this to your club, to see, you know, what have we done? How many people have we reached out here? How many people have we done? Um, you know, like sometimes it's a little difficult when we had a ditch cleanup last night. So how many people did we serve in the ditch cleanup? Well, that could be a good question. You can say I can put back 
you know, there's a thousand people that go by that. Probably not realistic. So you kind of have to figure out what's maybe a reasonable amount. Think, well, maybe we served 20 people because they live up and down the road. We cleaned up the ditches. We kind of have to play with those type of things. Some of these are kind of hard to figure out exactly what to put in. Okay, next one, please. Okay, usually the club reports things after it's done. So what you go to is you'll report past activities because you've already done the activity. Okay, report with club meetings. It can be um, zone meetings, conventions, workshops. So if you meet someplace, you can report that. I reported because we had a Zoom meeting for our board a couple of weeks ago, or last Tuesday. So we didn't have an um, in-person meeting, but we did have a, a board meeting. So we had, I think, 15 people at the board meeting. So I recorded that, that we held the meeting. If you send, you know, four people to a um, zone meeting, if you have how many people attended the midwinter convention or a, or a, maybe an international convention, um, the workshops or um, the fall forum, how many people went to those things, reporting that you know, your club is active, they're involved, they're going to places, they're doing things. Okay, service activities. Naturally, these are the things you want to report. We did a uh, ditch cleanup. That time thing we did now. We planted some trees recently. That's one of the things we did. Um, anything your club is doing, our uh, club tomorrow, my team will be putting up flags for Memorial Day. That's an activity after I find out how many guys were served and we how many people had flags were put out, I report that. Donations and fundraising. But the key part of a secretary is make sure you report. Your club is doing something. Make sure you report it. It shows that your club is an active club, that you're doing things. That's the main thing you want to do. It's very important as a secretary to make sure that you, you're the key, that communication, that let everybody else know that our club is an active club. We're doing things. We're meeting. We're sending people to activities. We're involved, that type of thing. So make sure you report it. If you don't, it doesn't look like your club's doing anything. Next one, please. Okay, so we start out, first of all, you go on that screen that says report past activities. And it says unreported activities. Well, because you haven't reported it yet, you have to hit the report button. And that's on the top right, and you hit that one, it goes on to the next thing. Okay, next, next one. Okay, we'll show you, first of all, some of the same things. Activity level, which is your club. It'll show you your multiple, it'll show you your district, and it'll show you your club name. And this, they just kind of pop up there by yourself. You go on to the next part. Okay, then the creator would be me as a secretary or whoever the secretary is, your club, your name will show up. Then they want to know activity duration. Was it a single day deal? Like our, our ditch cleanup, that's a single day. Sometimes we've hailed a, um, a food stand that maybe go on for three days during an activity. So it may be multiple days. And then they'll want the date. There's usually a calendar box. You figure out the calendar over there, you click on that, where it was. And then again, the activity. It was a service activity, a fundraiser, a meeting, or donation. You click the appropriate box there. And then you, you go on to the next part. Signature activity. One of the signature activities we did, can you go back? Well, there you go. Um, we have bingo every month, actually twice a month at the Senior Citizen Center. At least we were doing that until we weren't allowed to go in there anymore. So that was one of our signature activities. The same thing as our flag program. We'll put up flags. Memorial Day and Flag Day and Fourth of July and Labor Day, so it's a signature activity for us. And then the causes: it's hunger, environment, childhood cancer, diabetes, vision, and others. A lot of these will be others. Well, I'm going to use the environment. So our ditch cleanup is going to be environmental. When we planted trees last week, that's environmental. We gave money to something called the Place at the Table, where they provide meals once a week at a local church. We donated to that, so that's hunger. Um, during the Parade of Green, we did things for our diabetes. We contributed money there. We contributed money to vision. So it depends on what you want to, which one you want to click on. Okay, next part. Okay, um, once you decide what you did, then this prototype will come up. It'll be, it'll be different categories depending on what type of thing you did. But one of the things I want to know is number of people served. Okay, we donated $150 to this place at the table. So I'm assuming they're going to have at least, it's going to serve one meal for this evening, and then they have between 30 and 40 people come. So I'm going to put like maybe 35 or 40 in that area. Total volunteers. 
we have had lions go down and prepare the meal. This time we didn't. So we're gonna put I'm gonna put down one because a board just saved the money and gave it to him. So our volunteer was one, our service hour was one. Now when we did the ditch cleanup, we actually had eleven lions there. So we had eleven lions, it took us about an hour, so it's about eleven hours. Now if they would took us three hours, you take the number of lions, time the number of hours, you put thirty-three hours in. Now added metrics. This one I really don't know much about. I, I I haven't figured out what they mean by that yet. I don't know if Matt or anybody else can tell me a little bit about that. I learn things every time I try to do these. I clicked on it one time and it just had a lot of different details about it, but I'm not really sure what added metrics is, so I just leave it blank and I go on. Anybody, any idea? Okay, so next thing I allow is they can see, who can see this? Usually everyone. I'm not gonna say, no, we don't want certain people to see our activity. Um, so generally that one, we just leave it that, everyone. Then the description. They'll have a box there. They want you to type in, what did you do? Say the Plainview Alliance Club did this, or the Byron Lions Club did this, or Rochester 76 Club did this. It explains what you did. And featured photo. This happens to be a photo of what we did at tree planting. They will have a photo there for you. You can just use that one. But we have a couple of people in our club that provides a lot of coverage, and they send photos out. Um, we have a, after a ditch cleanup, there's a guy that took a picture of all the guys standing around their vests with their bags of garbage we collected, and I'm going to try to put that one in. Now, it should be easy, but sometimes it's not. Sometimes I can get the picture in there real easy, and other times it'll take me three and four and five times to try to get it in there. And sometimes I just give up and use the one they have. And then finally, you have the red thing in the bottom that says report. You hit report. Okay. That's one. Okay, so now we're all done. So I go back and I want to take a look at what we have. I go back to my lion. I click activities in the box. And it says there is no activities found in the selected time frame. I thought, didn't it take? Did, did I lose it all? I put all this work in and it's gone? Well, I found out that there's nothing there now that I'm time. But if I go to the left side, the second button down says, Click on the second button that says past activities. You hit that one, then it brings up all the activities you've had, and there it is. It was there, but for the longest time, I thought I wasn't submitting it. It wasn't going through. But I found out that that secret little button at the left side, it doesn't very big, it's just past activities. You click on that, it shows you exactly what all your activities are. And it goes on page and page and page if you've done a lot of those things. Okay, and I think that's about it. I see that one more slide after that or not? Is there anything after that? I think that's my last thing. So I'm wondering if maybe they're going to change that time. Okay, anybody have questions about the secretaries? Or anybody know how I can get that picture on there easier that this works for them? Hmm. Barb, are you secretary? Yes, I am. And I don't know if how many pictures I got on, maybe one. It's it's different. I like to put I like to put my pictures on my desktop and then drag them in. And I don't remember if that worked for this. Well, I I, lately. I think I was at the Byron Lions Club. We're at LCA, F deal, and uh, Julie Carlbloom was the secretary there. And before the meeting got started, she was able to put her report on an overhead and show the whole club. And it's amazing what they have done in the past. In that six months or that year, she could show all these various things. And that's a pretty important thing to show your club that they are active, they are doing things. It's amazing how many people you've touched when you put those number of people in there. Great. That's a good thing to share with your members. Or if you have a newsletter, you realize that our club has, you know, donated this amount of money this year and done this many service projects and touched this many people. So it makes you feel that you're active and club that we are doing something. Right. Any other questions for anybody? Um, but, you, know, you still need to go by what your tablet does. 